What is going on guys? It is Hagen or you can call me Helios and in today's video we're going to be going over all of the field upgrades or specialist weapons in Call of Duty Cold War Zombies. If you guys end up enjoying this video if you could drop a like that'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on those post notifications that way you guys never miss an upload. Over 99% of my viewers aren't subscribed so if you enjoy the content I make on this channel go ahead and subscribe. But with that out of the way let's go ahead and get on to this video. So the first one we're going to go over today is going to be Frost Blast. Now Frost Blast is actually a field upgrade that activates a small burst of frost energy that stuns zombies and slows them down. Now the actual description of the frost blast actually says it creates a frigid blast of wind that deals frost damage and slows enemies caught inside of it. Slowed enemies take additional damage. First tier upgrade states blast lasts 3 seconds longer continuing to slow enemies. That just makes it last 3 seconds longer. Tier 2 upgrade says increase maximum charges to 2 so you can activate it another time. And the tier 3 upgrade says doubles the size and damage of the blast. So it just increases the damage and makes the blast radius just a little bit bigger. So next field upgrade we're going to go over is going to be energy mine. So energy mine is a small little ball of energy that you shoot out and it slowly builds up energy before it explodes. So the actual description states create a mine of pure energy that detonates on proximity of enemies dealing explosive damage. Tier 1 upgrade says increase maximum charges to 2 so that way you can just activate another charge. Tier 2 upgrade says double the size of the blast it just makes the blast radius bigger. And the tier 3 upgrade says mine detonates 2 times rapid succession so you'll have one explosion and then another one following right after. The next field upgrade is actually going to be healing aura. So healing aura actually heals yourself and as you progress through the tiers it should be allowing you to heal your teammate. So the actual description says summon beams of energy down on yourself and allies to instantly heal to full health. So the tier 1 upgrade says you and allies gain a regenerative healing effect that lasts 10 seconds, so you just heal over 10 seconds. The tier 2 upgrade says beam knocks down normal enemies and stuns special and elite enemies. It's going to knock down all normal zombies and it's going to stun all the heavy zombies and the boss zombies. Tier 3 upgrade says beam revives down to allies, which I think is the most important part of this. It actually lets you revive players from anywhere on the map. So the next field upgrade we're going to go over is going to be Ether Shroud. Ether Shroud is actually basically in plain sight from Black Ops 3. It's probably the most OP one right now. The actual description says phase into the dark ether for 5 seconds becoming hidden from enemy detection. Tier 1 upgrade says activation instantly reloads ammo to your weapon so you'll have full ammo when you get out of it. The tier 2 upgrade says increase shroud duration to 8 seconds so it goes from 5 seconds to 8 seconds. And the tier 3 upgrade says activation instantly warps you forward a small distance so it kind of just pushes you forward out of a horde if you activate it. And our last field upgrade is going to be Ring of Fire, which is a newly found OP strategy for high rounders, and it creates a small area of effect that keeps zombies out and increases your damage. So the actual description says create a ring of ethereal fire that boosts damage for you and allies. Normal enemies who enter gain a burning effect that deals fire damage and lasts 15 seconds. The tier 1 upgrade says double burn effect damage, so you're going to be doing double burn effect if enemies try and come into your circle. Tier 2 upgrade says ring blocks enemy projectiles, so you can get shot from like the megaton within the ring. And the tier 3 upgrade says while in the ring, ammo is taken from your stock instead of your magazine. So that's just like stock option from Black Ops 3. So it's basically unlimited ammo as long as you have some in your reserve. And that is going to be all of the field upgrades within Call of Duty Cold War Zombies. If you guys want me to cover anything else on the channel about Cold War Zombies, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn on those post notifications that way you guys never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Never been one for wasting time. Why the fuck does everyone wanna waste mine? I pay haste to my grind, but all you facts will get in line. You been a sign, a place behind. You're truly the mastermind. I take my time.